What's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go. And today, we're about to talk about the real reason why you still have dysfunctional friends. Let's get it. Yesterday, I was talking to a friend of mine and she was simply, you know, telling me about her friend. And as she was telling me about her friend, I was just like, yo, because I know her. Why are you hanging with a friend that is somewhat or a lot different than you are? And she said, well, you know, she has issues and she has this going on. She has a lot going on in her life. And I'm thinking like, what does that have to do with you? And the first thing she said was, well, she's my friend. And I said, how long did you have this friend? Like, how long were you guys friends? She said, for a long time. I think we knew each other when we were teenagers. And right now, this woman is about 30. So the first thing I asked her was, okay, don't you think you've evolved since you were a teenager? Why is she still your friend? She had a blank look on her face. Like, she's my friend. I said, you do know people evolve, right? And this is just life. You turn around and say, you know what? This job isn't right for me anymore. And you go to another job. You have a car and you say, all right, this car is getting old. I want to get a new car. Sometimes you look at your city where you live at and you say, you know what? I don't like this city anymore. I want to move somewhere else. Or I don't like where I live at. I'm going to buy another house or get an apartment. We evolve from all these different things, but why don't we evolve from our friends? Regardless of who you are, if your friend is still in your life and you guys were best friends when you were teenagers, it's a very good chance that you've evolved from that person or that person has evolved from you. So my question would be to you is, why are you guys friends? Are you guys still friends simply because of this? It has to be more than that. And I'm here to let you know that it is more than that. There is something that you are getting or possibly are getting from that friend that you don't want to tell nobody about. Like always, I like to go to the past and not the present. So I want to take you through memory lane in my life. When I was young, I grew up in the hood and I wasn't this tough guy, right? So what I did was I hung out with tough guys. I hung out with guys who would do some crazy stuff in for really, really for any reason. I wasn't really about that life. So I hung out with guys who are about that life. So as time went by, these guys, some guys went to jail, some guys, you know, uh, end up passing away, you know, off of crime type of things. And other guys end up getting on drugs, you know? But with me, I wasn't that type of person, so I'm happy to say I moved away, I started a family, I did the things that I was supposed to do. So what I'm telling you is these guys are no longer my friends because I'm different than they are. But the key is I knew I was different than they were when I was young. See, a lot of people, they refuse to see who they are versus who they're around and they start losing their identity and this can happen in relationships or in friendships you start forgetting or never even realizing who you actually are compared to the person that you're either friends with or you're in a relationship with and you become that other person i never decided to do that i always seen myself as an individual in fact I grew up not looking up to anybody. I grew up in a bad neighborhood. So literally everybody around me, I did not want to be like. So my little dumb friends when I was a teenager, there's no way in this world I wanted to be around them. Now I got a couple friends from, actually one or two friends that I grew up around or whatever, but I'm not hanging with them all the time either because we're not doing the same thing. I'm a YouTuber now and I'm on social media and they aren't. So, you know, we can hang out every now and then, but they're no longer my best friends. I have other friends who kind of do what I do. 
Why? Because I evolved from them. And it's not that they're bad people. I'm just doing something different and I'm aware of it. Some of you aren't aware of how you've changed or have you changed? You may not have changed, which may be the issue. Your friend may have changed and you may be the person that the other person may feel the need to evolve away from and they can't. Now, why do people stay with dysfunctional type of friends and don't move on? Well, it's a few reasons. The first reason is simple, complacency. There are a lot of adult men and adult women who literally do not know how to make friends. I'll say that again. There are a lot of adult men and adult women who literally do not know how to make new friends. So they keep their same two best friends for all their lives so they don't necessarily have to go out and make new friends. But like I said in my life, I made a bunch of new friends and I'm happy because of it. Because now when, when I have an issue on social media, I don't have to talk to my friends that I grew up with that would have no idea what I'm talking about because some of them aren't even on Instagram. So I wouldn't have anybody to talk to, but my new friends, they do the same thing I do. So I have a better understanding of what I'm going through and they can give me answers to what I need. Isn't that what a friend actually is? So real quick, I want you to just think to yourself, why is your friend your friend? What can you get from that person? It's a possibility, nothing. All right, the next reason is you or they are complainers. You're going through something in your relationship, you're going through something at your job, or they, you both are going through things, and what you guys do is complain to each other. In other words, you guys are both dumpsters for each other. And you just dump all your issues and dump all your complaints. And, and, and then this is what's crazy. A lot of people, they don't necessarily want advice. They just want to vent. And literally every day they call their best friend and all they do is sit around and complain and vent to that person about who hurt them, who made them mad, who offended them. And this happens over and over and over and over again. So this may be a huge reason why a lot of people keep the same friends. And this is what's crazy. That person most likely isn't even capable of giving you advice. Why? Because they're your friend. They really only know what you know. Because most of these friends that, that, that are, have been around each other for years, they haven't learned anything new. You haven't learned anything new. So when you're complaining to them, they only know what they've heard from you and you only know what you heard from them. So neither one of you guys are even capable of helping the other person, which is dysfunctional, right? Now that we've talked about the obvious reasons why people keep dysfunctional people in their lives, now it's time to go deeper. But before we do that, if you're liking this video, make sure to hit me with a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload again and leave a comment about this. So let's get to it. Some of you have dysfunctional friends because you need somebody to validate who you actually are in your life. See, some people aren't necessarily doing that well in life and they're so complacent where they want to do more, but they need excuses on why they aren't doing well. And they need something around them to kind of validate that it's okay for them not to be doing well. And that is what your little dumb friend or your little stupid friend or your little uh, dysfunctional friend is there for. Your friend is there to simply show you that you're smarter than somebody. Your friend, as you already know, is a little stupid. And you have that stupid friend around you in order to make you feel smart. You know your friend is stupid. You know the stuff that your friend does is like ridiculous. Why are they your friend? Because as long as you're around somebody that stupid, 
you feel better about your decisions. Hopefully I'm not stepping on your toes, but it's important for me to show you some things about yourself that you may not realize that you're doing. So let's go a little farther down into this rabbit hole. Some of you are keeping or holding on to your dysfunctional friends because there's a certain amount of darkness that you aren't living, but they are. And as long as you keep that friend around, you can kind of like live vicariously through them. If you're a guy and you have a wife and kids and everything is going good in your life, and you have this one friend that is still out there, he's either single, messing around with different women, doing all these different things, or he's married and he's cheating on his wife and he's doing all these crazy things. And you know, you're not doing all those things, but just having this guy around makes you feel something because he has this dark side of him that you're able to see without actually doing or if you're a woman and you're on a straight and narrow you're a good girl you don't do all these crazy things but you have this one woman that is in there everything and she kind of exposes you to some of these stories that she'll tell and you're like wow wait what just happened and this woman continues to intrigue you and the more stories you hear, the more you like, oh my God, wow, what happened? She's dating this guy and dating that guy and doing all these different things. And she's going to different clubs or going to different bars or around particular people that you would never be around, but you're living vicariously through her. And it's part of your intrigue because in your life, it's boring. But because you have this woman around you, you actually have an exciting life without having to live it. So which one are you? Because it's important for all of us to actually put everything on the table and just look inside of ourselves and say, wow, why do I keep doing this? Because at the end of the day, for those of you who have trouble making new friends, it may not be that you have trouble making new friends. You don't necessarily believe in yourself and you keep allowing this friend of yours to tag along and they're not bringing anything to you, but this dark intrigue, you're not growing. Somebody said this to me the other day. They said, it's not the plant, it's the environment. So sometimes for you to actually grow is not for you to just simply stay where you are with this particular group of friends. It's important for you to change your environment. And if you don't change your environment, you're not going to grow. There's a big difference between man-made light for a plant and sunlight for a plant. And if this particular plant wants to actually get to its full potential, it has to move to where the sunlight is. And sometimes you are not getting sunlight by the people that you're exposed to, by the environment that you're exposing yourself to. Don't be afraid to just go out and meet new people. And now you may be asking like, well, how do I meet new people? Social media. Right now, you can meet new people by just going into my comment section and starting a conversation. Go on Instagram instead of, ladies, instead of taking all these pictures of yourself and just and just all these, say something. Yes, I did say it. Say something. Go on your Instagram page, go on your YouTube page and actually start talking. Talk about what's going on in the world. Give somebody an understanding of how you think instead of just all these freaking pictures. But this is an easy way for you not to only like find friends, but attract friends. Cause at the end of the day, that's what life is about, right? Discovery, attraction, go do something different in your life so you can attract something different in your life. That's it. So if this video helped you 
and I'm quite sure it did. I may have stepped on a couple people's toes, but make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit a notification bell, leave a comment, and like the video. I would love to see what you guys think about this. Y'all have a wonderful day.